<laughs> was uh, a number of Great. my Democratic colleagues in the House and Senate thought that I was going to hurt them in the races. And I was concerned if I stayed in the race, that would be the topic. You'd be interviewing me about why did Nancy Pelosi say, why did so and and, uh, and I thought it would be a real distraction. When I ran the first time, I thought of myself as being a transition president. I can't even say how old I am. It's hard for me to get out of my mouth. Is Joe even alive? He's so cold to the touch when he has a scoop of vanilla, the ice cream gets a headache. And the next time Nancy scolds Republicans on democracy, she should look in the mirror. Although I'm not sure she has that kind of reflection. But Joe also told a nasty lie about Trump and the KKK. Think of this. Every other time the Ku Klux Klan has been involved, they've worked, they wore hoods, so they're not identified. Under his presidency, they came out of those woods with no hoods, knowing they had an ally. That's how I read it. They knew they had an ally in the White House. And he stepped up for them. Uh, please take me out of my misery. <laughs> So much for non-divisive rhetoric. Joe, of all people, should recall the Klan was formed by Southern Democrats in 1865. He was a newly elected senator at the time. <laughs> but now that he's got no reason to live, screw unity. And to those who have expressed skepticism about how much Biden will be on the trail or about the rest of his term, what does he say to them? To those who have expressed skepticism about how much you'll be on the trail or about the rest of your term, raise questions about your health. What do you say to them? All I can say is watch. Watch. Watch, he says. Watch what? The dust collect on his forehead? <laughs> Spiders crawl out of his ears? Watch you try to remember your own name? Anyway, Joe's been extra chatty and reached out to Gutfeld. Oh, uh, no, 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 no. I'm still president. There's no question about that. Orange man bad. I remember when those Klansmen came out of the woods. They didn't even have their hoods on. Come on, when you're in the Klan, you gotta wear your hood. My friend Robert Byrd, he proudly wore his uniform in a battle. I spoke at his funeral, good guy. They said you shouldn't speak at the funeral of a Grand Wizard. He wasn't a Grand Wizard. He was an exalted Cyclops in the Klan. You gotta know the difference, that's stolen valor. <sighs> That's why I decided to run for president, because I, the, the, the Klan isn't wearing their uniform anymore. <laughs> so you got to get out there and vote January 6th. Uh, excuse me, October 7th. Obama, Harris, Biden. I'm in there somewhere. Uh... Now he's doing interviews, because it doesn't matter. It's like they just push the old guy out there. He's like, he can now wander around Walmart and you just sort of try to avoid eye contact with him, but he's free to talk. He's also got all the time in the world now. Yes. I mean, he, he doesn't have to, he's not campaigning. I, yeah, he was speaking openly. I, I think we just see more of it. I would like to see more of it just for fun. Like, the Kardashians isn't interesting anymore. Like, <laughs> let's get those camera guys over there, you know? Yeah, it could be the, it could be the last I, month the of Joe feuds, Biden. I mean, the feud between, like, him and Pelosi in itself I, I, is so interesting. She said the most savage thing that anyone can ever say about anyone, which is, he knows that I love him very much. Yes. <laughs> That is so manipulative and savage. I love how other politicians pretend like they'd be your buddy that you'd want to get a beer with. I would not drink a beer that Nancy Pelosi handed to me. And I respect that about her. Like every time someone said to me like, Kat, you know that I love you very much. It's because I wised up to notice that the person did not love me and probably never did. Mm -hmm. And I happen to notice that. But then they, they like, they, they, they get you in the fields and they manipulate you enough to be like, oh, well maybe did it. She's real, real sick. It's kind of fun to watch. I'd like to watch mm. the two of them have a therapy session together. Mm. <laughs> Turns out my intervention was a lie. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Tyrus. Do you think, it, why, how, how can this guy still be a president? I mean. Well, he's not, he hasn't been for a while. I think we, the, the lady with the face has been running the show. <laughs> because I'm trying to understand how the guy who has the most powerful job in the, in the world was told by a semi-retired house person to get out and he left. Mm -hmm. Like, I mean, and then he's saying, well, she made me. 
you couldn't have made him any weaker a man, a person than they are doing right now. And I think this is by design. They're sending Joe out there so he can continue to look sloppy, look silly, trying to blame everybody else. And they'll say, oh, also all these bad things that the American people don't like, that was Joe's fault too. Mm -hmm. So he keeps running his mouth. She's gonna, they're gonna hit him with that 25 before he goes. Ooh. It's gonna happen because then she's already in, ready to go. Like they've, they've played us, we fell for that damn debate and they're playing us. She's not even going out, she doesn't have to. Like this is, uh, I think we should all be a little afraid right now because they're playing chess to our checkers and we need to recognize that. Yes, thank God I don't play chess. Or checkers. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> what do you, uh, do you think he's gonna, I mean, he, six months, man. He doesn't have six months. No. I do think that's a mask. I've become yeah. that guy. Yeah. <laughs> I think that's not even really him. Yeah. <laughs> we literally, we've, got, we've gotten so uh, comfortable with the last uh, four years of just accepting anything he says as like, oh, silly Joe. Yeah. Like, that, the whole thing is in sea time at the woods. And yeah. KKK, like, <laughs> we're, and we don't even think it's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> we're kind of talking about how funny and crazy it is, but we just, we're used to that now. Right, yeah. Oh, I felt that if I ran, I'd, I'd, uh, I'd win too good. So I, it's like, he, what are you saying? We just go, oh, that's normal. It's, it's very, very scary. And I, I think that's a robot. Yes. But that's true. From the Hall of the Presidents, Andrew, it is kind of interesting how now nonchalantly you can just say, yeah, I was forced out. That's like a, that's a palace coup. Yeah, and cool. he's, but he says he was forced out. He says in the same interview that the polls were even and that he actually was going to win. So then the question is, if you were going to win, why were you forced out? And then he doesn't address the fact that he shouldn't be the president right now. But yeah. Just like Tyrus said, and Tyrus is 100% correct, they're using his body as a cadaver to fill the role in the White House. All the incoming fire, which is both friendly and enemy, is he's absorbing the bullets, and that way they can say, well, look, this guy did all of that, and Kamala is completely detached from the reality of her being the last one in the room, as she says, mm -hmm. when it comes to the presidency. And also, it's impressive, though, that right now, with that one interview, Joe has done infinitely more interviews than Kamala yes. since he announced that she's running. <laughs> it's incredible. Suddenly he's a chatty Kathy, and they, they have a moat around her. All right, there, he's, she's the new Joe. She's ripping off Trump, but she's acting like Joe. I'm confused, I should <laughs> shut up. Coming up, will Walt ever pay for boosting his resume? Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.